Greetings. In this video, we will be showing a program made in MATLAB using the robotics toolbox to simulate a sorting process for different types of materials in a recycling plant by using a specially designed manipulator, which is programmed to move to relevant areas to assure an appropriate range of movement around all the work environment. We can see our manipulator, which is built with four joints, the last one assuming also holds our end effector, which in this case we also assume is a suction cup. This is a 1000 millimeters wide conveyor and three beams, which will theoretically be holding the pieces collected by the robots. The short beam is for plastic, the middle one is for metal, and the tallest one is for glass pieces. We are tasked with making sure our robot can reach each point with a vertical angle in the last joint. This will be the first phase to simulate a robot which collects moving objects along a conveyor belt. Now we will fix the windows so we can run our program. We have five points of interest which are marked by the five uh, blue squares so basically they are one, two there are two in both sides of the conveyor and one in every bin the program was made so that it allows the user to easily choose the desired options so now we are running the program and after after we run we will be asked to choose one of the options we will choose the third option, which will move the robot to the first bin and then back to the default position. If we select any other number different from 1 to 5, the program will need to be run again, telling us that it's not a valid choice. We can see another example if we choose, let's say, the number 5, the manipulator will move to the tallest bin and then back to the default position. The program is divided in different sections where we first build the robot with its links which we get by designing its kinematic diagram first and getting all the DH parameters. Then we build our environment which will be common to our different selections. Uh, the environment is basically composed by the conveyor and the three, the three bins. We try to uh, build it using different types of of commands and functions. Then we create the points of interest and the inverse kinematics calculation. Then we make a case statement to be able to select all our options, making sure movement is enabled between. Uh, two coordinates in every case, which will be our point of interest and uh, the default position. That is all for the video. Thank you for watching.